Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest for weight. Find the count of numbers which are not special. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So there are a couple of steps to think about this, but the way that I thought about it initially is that, um, okay, so what is a special number? A special number is if it has proper devices, one, uh, two proper devices. One of them will always be one just because, well, just because, you know, uh, everything divides by one, right? So that means that the other number has to, there's only one other number. And the only way that's the case, it's if this number is a square number, right? Meaning two square, so that the two kind of duplicates out, right? Um, so yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was going to think for a second what about eight, but then four is one that's why okay yeah yeah um but then the other thing is that it's not just square numbers because you can have a number like 16 which is four times four but it's also two times eight right so it actually turns out to be the square of um prime numbers so that's basically the, the idea and there are a couple of ways you can think about this one um the way that i thought about it is by using sif right uh, this is using the SIF. Uh, I always forget how to spell it. That's not right. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I was close. But yeah, <laughs> what am I thinking of? But yeah, but basically this is the SIF. Um, not going to go over this in this particular thing. Honestly, I think the best version, you could YouTube this. But the best visualization is just actually draw them out and you can figure out why it doesn't, right? But uh, but this is pretty fundamental. Honestly, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen it on interviews. Um, maybe on an OA or something like that, like an online assessment but that people tell me about. But I, I don't think I've ever seen SIF used, so I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, so this gives us, uh, after running this, prime sub i will give us whether a number is prime. And I always special case out 0 and 1 because I messed up. Um, yeah, and then after that, it's just about just checking all the numbers. Uh, so if it's a prime, if this prime square is inside L and R, then we just add the count, and then that's pretty much it. And then we just kind of, you know, do all the thing. So there, actually, there, there's two ways you can do this as well. Of course, you can actually do this, um, you know, as a F of R minus F of L minus 1 or something like this. Um, but then the other thing that I want to say is that there is actually an edge case which is that if L equals 1, right? Because 1 is um, one only has one divisor, even though it is also, um, you know, a square number. Because 1 times 1 is 1, but, you know, luckily um, it's not a prime, so it doesn't work anyway. But depending on how you implement it, you know, you, you may get a little bit sloppy. But, but yeah, because 1 only has one divisor, right? And not exactly 2. So that's basically the thing. But yeah, but this is my code. What is the complexity here, right? Um, so I think that's the part that, that could be a little bit confusing and maybe the harder part about this problem um, because coming up with this is not that bad once you realize this. But like I said, right, um, it is a little bit tricky. But um, yeah, is that, well, one, one is that once you realize the square root numbers, then here, um, 10 to the 9 now goes to like 10 to the 4th or 10 to the 4.5 or whatever, right? Which is like, you know, halfway, say. Um, so that makes it already, you know, uh, manageable. Like, what is that? Like 50,000 or something? Um, yeah, right? Something like this? I don't know. That's not right. 500,000? A billion? Is, yeah. Whatever it is, right? It is going to be fast enough. That's the key thing, right? So that's this part of it, right? Is that uh, even if R is 10 to the 9, it will run pretty quickly. And then the other part is here. Um, well, you only have to check whether a number is prime up to R, right? So that means that, uh, sorry, up to X or the square root of R because, you know, X times X. So then that's why I've said max is equal to 10 to the fifth. Because it, it, it is, you know, 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 5th is going to be greater than 10 to the 9. So we don't even need that many, but why not? Um, and here, this is going to be roughly speaking n log n because this 
is the summation of um, 1 over 2 plus plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 plus dot 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 plus 1 over n for some n and that is actually n log n. I'm not going to go over this here um, but that's basically the complexity and and yeah and keeping in mind that n is just in a general thing um, here um, if you consider the max input as 10 to the 9 then this is just, just going to be the square root of that and then log, um, n log n of that right uh, yeah and of course that is technically exponential but I'm not going to go over the y in this particular thing but yeah uh, that's all I have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching and yeah hope you enjoy watching me solving it live in the contest now was true true huh? unless I misread it I mean I'm trying to slow myself down a little bit on these because too many silly mistakes uh, okay LR is too big to do anything okay even number X or positive proper device okay exactly two proper devices a special <coughs> This is a square root thing, isn't it? Because it's just one and a square root of self. So then now, uh, yeah. Um, uh, This is a little bit yucky, but it should be fine. It should be fine if, uh... oh, not special. Okay, well, um, something like that. Ten? Why? <clears throat> 4 and 9 what am I doing wrong well, that's 12 13 13 minus 4 and 9 should be 11 right what three and four what what is going on here Why am I so bad at this? This should be a two, three, four is three. Oh, two. So nine is. Huh? Oh, 16. Oh, that is not right then. That's actually. Oh, I almost submitted that one. Okay, so 16 is not good because 16 has two as well. So it's going to be two, three, five. I guess just the primes, right? <clears throat> okay, well, how do I do it in a good way? Other than SIF. No, you can't do SIF on 10 to the 9. Well, It's just primes, right? <coughs> this is kind of a hard one for Q2. Just, uh, I should have just done SIF. Uh, okay, fine. So go SIF to 10 to the 5th, so it's 100,000. Okay, fine. Um, Right, and we have like four. Mm. Oh, that should be true.
Yeah, because one is not in it, so that's a wrong answer, I think. Because one is just one. So actually, yeah, that was wrong anyway then. Hmm. <clears throat> No, that's not it. Yeah. Tell you the timing for these for some reason, but okay, fine. Um, yeah, okay, and then now we just do two, right? So, if why did I delete that one? Right? I don't know if this is right, but also there's only like 3,000, so. Okay, well, at least I got it right. Oh, a lot of people are getting wrong with this one. What was it about this one? Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Uh, yeah, and this part. Stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.